and Ian Holman is going to lead the session. Hello, so I'm Ian Holman from Cranfield University. I've been leading the sort of impacts work stream in Marius and also the agricultural work. So you've heard all about um, check, all about the hydrometeorology of the, the drought. You've heard about the weather of droughts, how that feeds through into river flows, groundwater and water resource management. And we then, in our work stream, wanted to see how that plays out into impacts. Um, but obviously there's a huge range of impacts, and some of those on communities were talked about in the first session this morning. So within our work stream, we focused on impacts related to sort of rain-fed systems, and impacts related to the sort of water resource-dependent systems. So the work is focused on impacts on agriculture across the UK um, and on terrestrial ecology. With my agricultural hat, I thought that was a lovely picture of terrestrial ecology, but apparently it's too agricultural. Um, <laughs> but it has got trees in it. And then we've also looked at, as I say, impacts on systems that are dependent on access to water. So, so aquatic ecology, um, ir primarily irrigated agriculture, energy generation, um, and the whole, I think, the whole UK economy. So we're not lacking in ambition, I think, in, in Marius. But what we're also recognising within those impacts is that there is competition between those sectors for water. So some of those impacts, we've actually tried to put a financial value on them. And I just want to use my privilege and bias in standing up here to sort of highlight one of the results that's come out from um, our work in Marius and also historic droughts. And that's around the value of water to agriculture. People often, it's very traditional to think of agriculture as a low value user of water. Doesn't, um, as an industry, particularly globally, where water do, isn't, isn't generating economic value. And therefore you can control ir irrigation during a drought and have very little impact on agriculture. And the work that's going to be shown, a part of one of the results that's going to be shown, was the first national assessment of the economic value of water for irrigation at a national <coughs> scale, and the economic value of that water on a sort of per cubic metre basis. And I hope that will demonstrate the importance of how you actually manage the competition and the trade-offs that Jim talked about at the beginning. Um, in a fair and sort of equitable way across all the sectors that you're going to be hearing about. And so with that, I'm going to pass over to the first of the more detailed talks, and that's Pat. Thank you. 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 Thank you.